Why would you want to hunt for mushrooms? Well, if there was a zombie apocalypse, then you'd want to know what you could eat in the forest. I am Chef Robin Court. I'm the owner of Swallowtail Culinary Adventures. As a chef, I always wanted to learn about what I could eat that wasn't in the grocery stores. And also looking for the freshest, most Pacific Northwest ingredient that I can find. And what's more Pacific Northwest than hanging out in the rainforest and looking for food? You're gonna to wanna to know about the golden chanterelle because it's one of the tastiest wild mushrooms that you will ever eat. The identifying features of a chanterelle are its gills, for one thing, they have to be stunted, so a blunt gill. Some chanterelles that are cylindrical on the cap, but a lot of the time it's gonna have this wavy margin that you'll see. And when you cut the stem, it is solid inside. There's a, a look-alike that has a hollow stem called a false chanterelle, and that one will give you stomach upset, so you really need to know the difference between the false chanterelle and the golden chanterelle that's really good to eat. When you're looking for golden chanterelles in the forest, you want to look for Douglas firs first. So you look for the tree, and then you find the mushroom. So the golden chanterelles link up to the roots of the Douglas fir tree, but they need these trees to grow, so that's why you can't cultivate chanterelles. You have to find them in their forest, which makes them very exciting to find. So when you're hunting or going to pick chanterelles, again, this moss is a, an indicator. When you go to pick, what you want to do is you never want to um, disturb the mycelial mat. So the fungi that's underneath this ground is that root mass, which is the mycelial mat. That's the actual organism. So underneath this chanterelle, there's the root mat, and then the fruit sort of pops up from it. So you don't want to disturb that mat that is going to create more and more chanterelles for next year when you come back. So join me next time. I'm Chef Robin, and we'll hopefully be out in these forests looking for other beautiful uh, expensive culinary mushrooms like pine mushrooms or cauliflower mushrooms or lobster mushrooms which taste like seafood if you can imagine. This forest is a bounty of beautiful beautiful flavors for you to eat.